I'm so happy to be here to celebrate the amazing work of our two teams. This last 12 months, you, when I was just listening to you, unbelievable amount of progress for the whole computer industry, frankly, in the last 12 months. Well, our two teams have been super busy. Uh, AI and accelerated computing is a full stack challenge, and it's a data center scale challenge, from computing to networking, from chips to APIs. Everything has been transformed as a result of generative AI. Now, over the last 12 months, we've been, our two teams have been accelerating everything we could. Now, one of the initiatives, of course, is accelerated computing, offloading general purpose computing, accelerating all the software we can, because it improves energy efficiency, reduces carbon footprint, reduces cost for our customers, improves their performance, so on and so forth. We built the world's fastest AI supercomputer together. Yep. It usually takes a couple of two, three years to plan one, easily a year to stand one up. Our two teams built two of them, twins, one in your house, one in my house. <laughs> we did it, and we stood it up in just a few months. It is now the fastest AI supercomputer in the world. And it seem, seemingly without barely even trying, it's the third fastest supercomputer on the planet. It's Absolutely. really quite, quite amazing. Uh, we worked on all kinds of computer breakthroughs, uh, computing breakthroughs. Confidential computing, of course, yeah. a very big deal, an invention between our two companies. Uh, all the way to uh, deploying large language models uh, from the cloud to the PC. Yeah. The work that we did together so that Windows can now be a first-class client for large language models opens up a few hundred NVIDIA-powered PCs and workstations around the world. Yeah, it's the largest million. install base on the edge of very powerful AI machines. Happens to be Windows PCs with, you know, GPUs from That's NVIDIA. That's right. That's right, and now with Studio AI, That's right. unbelievable, right? Everybody could be a rag developer, everybody could engage large language models. Now we've, we've also, and this is something that, that, that I'm so proud of, uh, we talked about uh, a year and a half ago, and, and this is such a great idea, such a great vision, and you really, you really deserve so much credit for transforming Microsoft's uh, entire culture to be so much more collaborative and partner-oriented that NVIDIA's platforms, and you invited NVIDIA's ecosystem, all of our software stacks to be hosted on Azure. Today, we're announcing the two largest software stacks of our company, NVIDIA Omniverse, yeah. and in fact, just now you saw the WPP yeah. uh, video. Uh, in fact, that's actually computer graphics. Uh, that computer graphics is running on Omniverse. Omniverse. And now you can connect Omniverse to generative AI. Uh, the second, uh, and, and so Omniverse is for industrial digitalization. Uh, today we're announcing that Omniverse Cloud, Omniverse, which is a stack originally on-prem on large computers now, available on Azure Cloud. The second is a brand new thing that we're, we're announcing, and you just mentioned it. We're offering an AI foundry service. Uh, generative AI has opened up the opportunity for every enterprise in the world to engage uh, artificial intelligence. For the very first time, it is now useful, versatile, uh, quite frankly, easy to use. Yep. And companies all over the world will use it in multiple ways, but here's three basic ways. One, of course, public cloud uh, services like ChatGPT. Uh, second, embedded into applications like Windows. Uh, we are uh, very, very happily uh, also a full site licensed customer of uh, uh, Copilot. Yeah. And so we are going to be augmented by Microsoft Copilots. And uh, if you think that NVIDIA is moving fast now, <laughs> you know, we are, we are going to be turbocharged by Copilot. And then third, of course, uh, customers want to build their own AIs. Yep. Their own, they want to create their own, using their own data, create their own proprietary large language models, and create their own regs. And so today, leveraging what NVIDIA's core assets are, our AI expertise, our AI end-to-end -end workflow, NVIDIA AI Enterprise, and uh, our AI factories, which is now available on Azure called DGX Cloud, uh, we are gonna make these, built on these three pillars, help customers build their own custom large language models. We're gonna do for uh, people who wanna build their own proprietary large language models, 
uh, what TSMC does for us. Yeah. It's fantastic. Right? And so uh, we'll be a foundry for AI models. Yeah, no, it's just so amazing to see. I mean, us partnering on everything on the system side and everything up, up the stack on the software side, whether it's on Omniverse or DGX Cloud and this AI foundry is fantastic. I love that metaphor of TSMC uh, for AI uh, model development. You know, talking about this arc of AI, Jens, and of course you've been you know, at the core of this um, long before it became like, fashionable to talk about it, you were talking about it. What's your arc here of AI innovation going forward? Well, generative AI is the single most significant platform transition in computing history. You and I have both been in the computer industry a long time. In the last 40 years, nothing has been this big. It's bigger than PC, it's bigger than mobile, it's gonna be bigger than internet, and surely by far. Uh, this is also the largest TAM expansion of the computer in industry in history. Uh, there's a whole new type of data center that's now available. Unlike the data centers of the past, this data center is dedicated to one job and one job only, running AI models and generating intelligence. It's an AI factory. This AI factory, you're building you know, some of the world's most advanced, you're building the world's computer. That computer is now gonna be augmented by AI factories all over. The second TAM expansion is uh, where our industry has focused on building tools of the past, now you have co-pilots that use the tools. So in hardware, there's a brand new segment, AI factories. In software, there's a brand new segment, co-pilots. Co yeah. These are brand new things that the world's never had the opportunity to enjoy. Big, huge TAM expansion. Um, the first wave is the, first, the, the wave that we enjoyed, which is uh, incredible startups at OpenAI and others uh, who, create, who are part of the generative AI startups. Uh, cloud internet services, that's the first wave. We're now beginning the second wave and is really triggered and kicked off by Copilot, Office uh, or Windows 365 Copilot, basically the enterprise generation. The third generation, the third wave, is the wave that, that I think is going to be um, the largest wave of all. And the reason for that is because the vast majority of the world's industries run on it, yeah. which is heavy industries. And this is where NVIDIA's Omniverse and generative AI is gonna to come together to help heavy industries digitalize and benefit from, from generative AI. So we're really, quite frankly, barely in the middle of the first wave, starting the second wave. This is, yeah, this is gonna be. I love that three waves and all happening somewhat in parallel, but there's staging of it. And I think it all accrues, right. it compounds across all three. That's right. uh, maybe we can close out, uh, Jensen. You, you and I have worked together for decades. Microsoft and NVIDIA have worked together for decades. You know, partnerships are these magical things where your innovation, our innovation comes together ultimately to enable uh, people in the audience. So just talk about like what do you, when you think about the Microsoft partnership, what's your vision for it? What's your expectations of it? And just any thoughts on that? Well, we have a giant partnership and many of you are, are partners with Microsoft here. And, and uh, I think you all, you all, all agree with me that uh, there's, a, there's just a, a profound transformation um, in the way that Microsoft uh, works with the ecosystem in the industry. We, uh, we are suppliers to you, uh, building the most advanced computers together. Uh, you're suppliers to us, yeah. and, uh, and so we're customer partners with each other. Uh, but one of the things that I really, really love is the fact that we uh, partner on advancing fundamental computer science like confidential computing and generative AI and um, all of the infrastructure that we build together. Um, I love that uh, we're inventing uh, 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 new technologies together, but I really love that you're hosting our native stack yep. right there in Azure. And as a result, we're ecosystem partners. Uh, NVIDIA has a rich ecosystem of developers all over the world, uh, several million CUDA developers, uh, some 15,000 startups around the world works on NVIDIA's uh, platform. Uh, the fact that they could now take their stack and without modification, run it perfectly on Azure. Uh, my developers become your customers. My developers also have the benefit of integrating with all of the Azure APIs and services and um, the, the secure storage, the confidential computing. And so all of that richness amplifies NVIDIA's ecosystem. 
And so I think this, this partnership is really quite unique. I, I think that there's not, not one like it. We don't have one like it. Uh, we're uh, incredibly proud of the partnership and incredibly proud of the work that we do together. And, you know, so I... Thank you so yeah. much, Jensen. I really deeply appreciate everything that you and your team have been doing. As you said, the last 12 months have been unlike anything I've seen in my professional career. And we are obviously setting pace and we plan to continue to do so. Thank you so much Thank for you, your sir. deep partnership. Thank All you. Right. Jensen Wong.